what time is on Ellie? Because if not, I can put it on. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, I do have kind of a flex spot. I'm kind of just throwing Bone Surge to kind of like help with a little bit of extra survivability. Make sure we repair, guys, and uh, check charges and food and all that fun shit. But if, if you don't want to run it, I can. What's up? What? The Frost Armor? So it basically is a major resolve. So it's the same... So basically when you come in for to give Warhorn, that's when I want you to cast it. So that way you're giving everybody that 5,000 resistances. So you're get basically giving them, you know, that big bonus. So kind of like whenever, you know, when he's done jumping or after a kite's done, whatever. When you find the need... If you don't, that's not a big deal. The majority is... Because you're not going to get 100% of time on a lot of buffs in here. The majority is that I want you to try to keep it up as best as you can. Without, like, you know, obviously putting a bad jumping group or killing somebody to kite. So, like, when... I mean, you, you're starting to understand this. You, you know when to come in, when you know when not to come in. So it's, it's just small shit like that. Um... Kind of just whenever you're pulling in your horns is the best time to do it because you're going to give them that and the nice uh, major resolve bonus. Something else we need to practice on, you guys have to be in the boss. So come down here real quick. So this right here, right where I'm standing, is the boss. You guys really need to be up here, like on this shit. You guys are still like stacking out here. Like, no, get up in his shit. What happens is during kite phase, as long as you are approximately this distant to be getting my PA, nobody should be getting a kite on top of them until they start moving backwards. So if you guys are stacking up on his ass, you guys should not be getting that first kite. So you guys should have plenty of time to put yourself in your lane and be in a good spot. If you guys are not, you're going to get kite, and then you're going to kill somebody else because you're not staying stacked up on his ass. Because I've definitely noticed that at least once or twice. So as soon as jump is done, as soon as kite is done, you guys need to be hugging his, his booty hole. Are we waiting on everybody? Is everybody in here? Okay. I'm good. Okay, let's go. We're going to go kill Lothus again. Um, hopefully the decent ink isn't as bad, because it was garbage on that first round. Um... Does everybody have skeleton? That's another thing no. that really does make a difference. Uh, if you no, forgot okay. to put that on. I do, but... If you do it. not have it, put an X in chat, and I will help people do that. Sometime, yeah. either tomorrow or with... Yeah, it is. Well, quite if the nice support goes down, is. support you just need to put an X in group chat so that way that people can see that too. That's another thing that'll help with that. I mean, honestly, if you can't find where I'm at when I die. Yeah, but it helps with like I go down, like I'm gonna be underneath the boss, so it's gonna be a pain in the ass to see him. Me. Yeah, for you. I mean, obviously, Zeef will be pretty easy to see a dead body out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Baka will be butt fucking a wall somewhere. Well, Finding that one crack that's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Um. <laughs> okay, so tonight's run, I don't care if we clear at this point. I want you guys to practice being disciplined. Because right now, this trial is never going to clear if you guys are not disciplined. So the priority isn't to clear tonight, it is literally as soon as jump is done, everybody's up his ass. As soon as kite is done, everybody's up his ass. If we clear after that, that is going to be fantastic, but the goal is to really start getting, being disciplined. I want to see the mini immediately going down, like you guys did phenomenal doing the mini that first time. He went down fast as actual fuck. Like, you guys killed him with like, I think 45 seconds still up on the timer, so that was fantastic. Um, yeah, yeah. yes, we're gonna do it again. Okay, I'm not gonna say no jinx at this time, but you know my expectations on the minis. Um, who has my first Colossus? I do not have a horn. I have a horn. I'm 186. I'm at 206. Monkey? We got one or no? Okay, 
Fantastic. Alright, let's pull. War, three, two, one. Somebody Ulti dump the shit out of the boss. I want him to be dead in three minutes. Let's go. My horn. Reses need to be happening a lot quicker. Still. Hopefully the lag is better. I'm noticing a much better improvement this time around. Hermes, are you starting to see that little trick I taught you, or I told you about when he like comes in and then you want to use? Okay, I just want to make sure because that'll that'll be very beneficial when we get to doing plus Lotus. Because if not, you're definitely gonna fuck up, and we're definitely gonna get wiped from it. That's if Jethro doesn't replace you. What? Just kidding. Why did I die? I don't understand why it's killing me so easily. Somebody grab Jesser, please. He's in the corner. Don't. 36k uh, careful, damage. Careful. Okay. What is it? What is it that killed you? The fucking lightning thing that never does any damage to me. It might just be the decent, because I know the lot I was having that issue with the first run. There you go. You good? Yeah. Also. Just so you guys know, and I want you guys to be very aware of this, this cone does not technically have an end. It will reach a clear across the arena, even if you are in lane 1, and he is in lane 1, it'll still hit lane 8, even if it, like, fades out, that it does happen. So that is something to keep in mind for the future. My horn. Brazos quickly. Ariel, did you set CP? Yes, I was fucking blocking. Blocking <laughs> my thing. Oh my god, guys! If somebody goes down, you have to pick them up immediately. Blocking. 
don't stand in the poison. You guys need to make sure not only are you blocking, you also are casting shields. I can definitely tell some of you are not doing that. Execute, come on. So something you guys are really going to have to practice is when we go into plus Lothus, if you do not shield, you just block through that, you are going to die because of all the other shit going on. You guys need to make sure you are shielding and blocking through that. Okay, let's go stack up. Everybody check food, charges, all that fun shit. Yes. From the moment Lothus is out to the moment he goes down, you do nothing but stare him down, pretty much. You follow him, you kind of like, that's, that's literally all you do. From the moment he's in here, you are basically just, you know, light attacking him, crushing, you know, putting your dots and shit on him, you're doing damage to him, you're not doing like a full rotation, you are just staring him down, waiting for him to get ready to do it, and then you interrupt him. That is your job as a protector, or as an interrupter. And then as soon as, what's up? Yeah, you do not want him to do the where he lifts his staff and shoot it. If he does it in here, it's a two tick. If he gets enraged, it'll instantly kill the entire group except a tank. The tank can live through two of those, and then they're dead. So that's in something you also you will learn that I'm not teaching you yet until we get there. You have to learn how to move around the arena depending on where he is at to interrupt him. So for example He ends up uh, in the four corners and it sucks. Yeah. So somebody come here, somebody come here, Zeef come here. You're the first person I see come here. So if this is Lothus so Zeef is Lothus, right? Or sorry, Holmes. And you're standing approximately here, give or take. So say lo how Lothus works is he jumps to these four posts. So basic, he jumps approximately around them. They're not an exact of where they jump. So if you're here, and Lothus jumps there, you obviously can't sit here and interrupt him through, through Ohms because he's got a big ass hitbox. What you then have to do is learn to move, to where you can line of sight him. But you also have to do it to where you're not killing people during kite phase. That is the hard part about being an interrupter, and that is why they're so sought after, and that's why that. The people who are interrupting have the more important job than anybody here. Because they fuck up once, the, the whole group's dead. And when he's near me, I can help you with bashes, but not all the time am I going to be able to get a bash. Like, if he's... So if I'm where I'm, I'm holding films and he jumps clear the fuck back here by Zeef, obviously that is on you to get it. If you don't get it, you're kind of fucked. Um, he does, like, a little line on the ground. Um... It's, it's, I'll have to send you a video of what it looks like. He will, like, emit a little green line. Time about before he does it? No, when he's moving, he emits, like, oh, a little yeah, green yeah. line on the ground. It's like he goes into the ground gone. and, like, shoots across. Like, yeah, all you do is look in when we're fighting him. Every time he teleports to the three corners when we're regularly fighting him, he does it too. Yep. Yeah. And every time he, like a little green he dust teleports, mist. he also leaves a yep. big ass pool of poison. Which DPS are gonna have to learn how to dance around it as well. Ohms is films is the easier one. Always as soon as possible. The less yep. damage you can let him do to the, everybody, the better. 
Yeah, you pretty much stare at him, you interrupt him, as soon as you interrupt him, you turn to the main boss, you drop your dots on main boss, and then you go back to looking at Lothus, and you just repeat it until he's down. As soon as he's down, then you just start doing your full, your normal rotation, or you build, you know, resource up on, on Ohms. And then as soon as he's up, you go back to staring him down, interrupt, do drop your dots, shit like that. It's just, it's just a repeated, repetitive pattern. Alright, let's stack up. Again, we need to work on the discipline here, guys. So, as soon as jump's done, as soon as kite's done, like, I should see all eight of you fuckers sprinting for his ass. You're not you're not losing a bunch of stamps, so there's no reason why we're not sprinting straight to positions after those to emit the less amount. And you guys need to be dropping more destros. I need to see the destros going off a little bit better. That second run was a little sloppy. Um... Yep, everybody stack up if you're ready. I gotta pull up the fucking timer, hold up. <laughs> Jethro, I swear to god. Stop dying. Uh-huh. Ted, are you ready? Ted. Okay, stack up, let's go. I got first one. Pulling in three, two, one. I want to see Colossus and everybody else's ults. Jumping in 4%. Move to your sides. 2%. Again, sprint to our spots. Let's go and go right in the kite. Careful, he's turned. Hi. Off tank down, right underneath him. Warhorn. quickly. Let's drop some multis, let's push him. My horn. Everybody needs to be back up on the bus. If you are not within my vigor, you are too far. Somebody grab Ariel, please. Five percent to many. Let's keep pushing. Two percent to jump. So when we're DPSing protectors, we need to be doing it from in stack. Okay, move to sides. Make sure we're still DPSing the boss as he's jumping. What the fuck? Oh. <sighs> Not grabbing the res, you should be back in group. My horn. My horn. Oh shit. Minnie's out. Coming in. Okay. 
Front down. Minis coming in. I'm gonna drop a dust row. I wanna see some more dust rows up. Come on. That was a bad jump. Minis in group, drop ulties. Okay. I need my front cut up, please. Oh, he's in a bad jump. Never mind. Thumbs is coming in. I'm on exit, so I'll jump over. If you come to res me, res me. Coming in. You guys need to kill many on this run. One mil. Oh. Many's down. If he jumps to you like that, just make sure you tell me he's down. You have 30 seconds to push boss to jump face. Come on. Uh, horn. Okay. Six seconds on mini. Mini's up. It was unlucky, Baka. He was he died on top of Zeev. Yeah, that jump happened just immediately during the spit. It. Minis in group. Ooh, bad spit. Frank head down. Somebody grab him, please. He's gonna jump on you, Funky. Or warning. Cover. We have jump in four percent. Jump spit. Yep. Oof. Did you get him? I'm up. Yep. I got Marco. Right. I just didn't get red. Minis in group. Nuke the protector and push boss. Jumping in 3%. Warhorn. I, I have ohms, I have ohms, take him. Yeah, we got him. Um, am I gonna be able to get red? Uh, we're gonna jump. 2%. Gonna go jump phase. Move to your sides. Uh. 1%. He may still... You guys are gonna have to kill Protector and then jump. Quickly kill Protector and push jump, otherwise you guys are gonna get kite. Yep, kite.
Back head down. One percent to jump. Front, front head down. Jumping. Okay. What the? Uh. Okay, let's go ahead and wipe this up. We're about thirty percent behind on mini. Okay, so you guys are doing really good with mini right now. Like you guys are doing exactly what you need to be doing. Right now, we need to clean up the rest of it. Like kite needs to be cleaned up. All the other fun shit that's going on right now. That's what needs to be cleaned up. You guys have killed mini flawlessly twice now tonight, and that is phenomenal. And we just need to keep repeating that as well as keeping kite and all the other bullshit that's going on. And we need to clean that up. Um. Yes, protectors have to go down faster. That is about the only complaint I really have going on right now. So I do have a question. Um, yes. Whenever we have protector exit and I'm up the boss's ass and I'm turning around burning the protector and we're really close to that jump phase, I tend to get overzealous and start moving early because we've been burning faster than usual and that's bitten me in the ass twice tonight. Menace, I get and, the same. Um, unfortunately, sometimes that happens. So sometimes, like, he could get, you could get a protector up at, like, 1% and then get fucked by it, and then you get that unlucky kite like we did right there. Um, so unfortunately, that sometimes does happen. You just have to be disciplined enough to be able to adapt mid-fight mid like that. Um... If you two are lagging really bad, go ahead and restart your game or something real quick. We'll wait. Take a two-minute break. Yeah, this so is getting fucking bullshit. Yeah, go ahead and restart your app, both of you two. See if that helps or reload UI, one of the two. Um, like, that last death... I wasn't even in a fucking AOE. I just died out of nowhere. So, like, what the... Mon <sighs> yeah. Um, so, Monkey, when it, Mini is in, yes. The issue oh. we're running into, as soon as Mini is jumping, the protectors aren't going down. The protectors only have 900k health. There's no reason that from the moment the Mini is doing the jump animation... That the protector isn't going down. That's the issue we're running into right now. Well, yeah, deaths do equate to that, but sometimes there's been points where we didn't have deaths and we're still way behind on protector. It's been up for too long. That's that's the issue we're running into. It's not when we have the deaths, it's when we are still up and people aren't doing that as soon as he jumps. Like, the moment you hear Zeefs yell jump, the protectors need to be focused and then, and then get the reses and then focus many when he's back in. Um, crow using unnerving. So yeah, as a tip for my, the crow users in here, there's three kind of like spread out. Or no, you're actually all right on top of each other, unfortunately. It helps if you throw unnerving boneyard on top of them. It gets the debuff because I cannot stab them. Um, so that is something that can help. Oh, there goes my nose. Um, so make sure you guys have the unnerving when you're in content right now. You guys should, all three of you should have it. Um, other than that, does anybody see any concerns that's going on? You guys are doing phenomenal on the, the minis. We just have to clean it up right now. We've killed two minis perfectly tonight. So I'm not really going to complain. The, the deaths are getting kind of annoying, but we really just need to... Get some more reps in here. I know everybody's a little rusty. We haven't done this in what a week and a half, two weeks almost. Um, I'm ready to flip my TV over. So yeah, monkey. When you're parsing, you want avid, but when you come into content, you want to make sure you swap those because it it fucking debuffs them. Because I can't taunt the or I can't apply that debuff to them when they're like clear out here. Now if they're in the middle or I'm grabbing the mini or whatever. I can sometimes do it, but I can't always apply that debuff, so if you guys run that, that'll help out. Yes, exactly like Hermie said. Nah, you're good. 
These are I'm these are little crow tips not everybody actually knows or thinks about, to be honest with you. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, but are you elite yeah. running them every single time? If you have them, like, they need to be used to running unnerving anyways, because most of the time spent in trials is just on apples, and that's an AoE debuff. Yeah. Like, they're really the only appeal of LE Drain is just the Magicka Steel. Pretty much. You're good, Monkey. Yeah. Well, they're using it, they're just using the Ron Morph, they're using the Parse Morph. Yeah. Saw it like all the way out. Man, that's I really wish you're my motherfucker. Hermes, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I just saw what you posted, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Would it help if I. No, do not use Ellie. I need you guys to get used to not having the Ellie on there in case that Zeef can't apply it. <laughs> Hermes, I fucking hate you. <laughs> that made my day, bro. <laughs> um, we are going to give this one more solid pull. Um, if we do not get it, we are going to finish with a plus zero for the end of the night. Um, this, I will say this has definitely been progress tonight. You have killed, like I said, minis twice pretty damn flawlessly. And you were on schedule for that second one. You just, that we had a little few mistakes that set us back really bad right there. So, um, check charges, everything, check food real quick. If you are ready, stack up. As soon as everybody's in stack, I just will pull. Yeah, so just and keep that in mind when you come back in here. This, this is all you gotta say, because it literally when you're deep or uh, DPSing the protectors, you just throw a nerving on it. It gets the same buff, and you guys can easily take them down faster. Hermes, you good? Okay, everybody's in stack. Let's go. Calling in three, two, one. Sides. Okay, get on boss, get ready for Kate. As soon as Kate's done, we'll clean up these reses. Okay, Kate. If you're up, DPS the protector down first, then grab reses. I almost kicked you from crew funding. <laughs> okay, let's clean it up. Somebody. Uh, Ariel's in the back. Can somebody please grab her quickly? Or just leave me where I belong. Be you ready for kite? Middle, everybody turn around. Don't let me get her. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Protector needs to be done. There we go. Back on boss. So when the, they're in the middle, everybody needs to be turning and focusing those, not just one side. One in the middle. I think all your dots just slightly different and you should go down. Perfect. 
jumping in 3%. We should be getting a kite phase, yep. Jumping after the kite phase. Jumping. DPS is protector down in the middle. Okay. Clean it up, get reses. Here comes Mini. Or uh, Felms is coming in. Let's get a little extra limit on him. My timer was a little bit late. Phenomenal job right there, guys. Keep it up. Make sure we're hard stacked up with the boss's ass, please. Somebody grab hunting. My horn. Minis coming back in. My horn. Okay, don't focus mini as hard right now, guys. We are 20% ahead. You guys are doing phenomenal. Just focus the protector. Don't worry about mini. Just let him get cleaved. My horn. Okay, let's get. We have a Colossus on mini. My horn. Mini is down. Fantastic job. Push boss to fifty percent. You have 30 seconds, push mini 10%, let's go. Ult, the dump. You have 10 seconds on mini. 5%. 4%, Minis up. My horn. Okay. We need to do better about staying stacked up on bus guys. I still see people straggling around. 2%. Move to your sides. Get the protector down quickly and push. We're gonna get another kite phase. Jumping. 
Make sure we're DPSing the mini jumping. as he's jumping. Careful, mini's jumping in the group. Grab reses, clean it up. On. Carabras this quickly, please. Minis coming in. Okay. Minis coming in. Please grab reses. Somebody double ulti. We need to get a lot of damage on the films. He is way behind. My horn. Okay. I need everybody to dump films. He has 30 seconds and he's at 6.7 mil. Mini's coming into group. Everybody turn and focus Mini quickly. He's going to be enraged not starting now. Mini is enraged and rage bacon before one. Okay. Mini needs to go down quickly. He has two mil, everybody turn and focus Mini. He's coming in right now. Recover, 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 he is down. Grab that last res and clean it up. My horn. Let's push the boss to 30%. Everybody focus. Just that protector, one someone, one person grab that res. We have 10 seconds on films. Push to 35 at least. Come on. Mini is going to be up right now. Mini's coming in. Okay. Front, Front down by exit. You're gonna get a bad jump, forewarning. My horn. You're up. Minis in, drop mm. ultis. My closest. We need a little bit more DPS than him. Okay. Three percent. Jumping in. Two percent. After protector push boss to jump, do not worry about films. K. 
Okay, push the jump. Jumping. One percent. Move to sides. Jumping. Okay, keep this clean. GPS the mini dumb. Drop an ulti if you have it. He's gonna move. My horn. Clean it up quickly, quickly. This is still recoverable. Clean it up quickly. If you guys get up and have an ulti, dump it on in the middle immediately. We're behind on films. Horn. Good recovery. Clean it up. Okay. Oh, they've really got to change that resurrection button. <sighs> uh, dump ulties in the middle. Come on. We have front kite down. Uh, mini is enraged. Turn that mini. How about back? We're at four mil. This is recoverable, guys. Enraged bacon, he's jumping right now. Oh my god. Jump. Caught my toe. Bad jump again. Okay. Kite. Clean it up, come on. Ah, uh, it's on your way. Bacon got me. Okay. Wipe that up. Um, that was significantly better than any of the runs we've had so far. Um. So let's go ahead and wipe that up really quickly, and we're gonna go do a. We're gonna go kill Phelps and just finish with a plus zero. Uh, make sure everybody clips that specific fight right there.